What's up guys? Welcome back to another weekly version of Cusco Uncut. Uh, how you like my table? I just finished it. So for those of you watching the Cusco Uncut for the first time, I usually edit and cut up my videos to pieces. This one I don't cut at all. Uh, moms and dads watching with your kids, this topic is likely to get me irate and defensive, potentially. So just be aware, I may talk violently, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, kids watching with their parents, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say anything that I would think your parents don't feel, most likely, but valid question somebody had. Uh, if I play the intro, doesn't that count as a cut? And it could, but anybody who uses editing software of any kind uh, knows what layers are. I actually layer the intro on top of it, so here's what's actually happening. <laughs> So that's what is actually happening underneath. I, I lowered the opacity on that intro layer so you could see that it is actually uncut. <laughs> I just I just layer on top. So um, anyway, today's topic. I'm a type of guy that usually enjoys or almost always prefers bad news first and then good news after. But I'm gonna switch it up just to get outside of my comfort zone. We'll do good stuff first and bad news second. Um, yes. So this topic is a long conversation potentially and something that can go on for hours and hours. I'm going to try to condense it down and do a little 10-12 minute segment here so we'll do our best. Let's start with the good stuff. Uh, good thing number one is definitely the most value that these videos have for myself, potentially other people, but definitely for myself. For my own personal selfish reasons, videos with my kids were preserving memories for a lifetime, for forever, for generations to go forward and see how how we lived our lives going forward. Family home movies that we can enjoy. Noah's first snake feeding, Leia's first snake, all the kids, I've got all of them feeding their first snakes on video. Um, and doing lots of firsts on video, talking, walking, all these amazing things that happen throughout a kid's life that we get to go back and, and see. And granted, you don't need to put that on YouTube to be able to preserve it. But it's the fact that I'm doing this stuff on YouTube that we do it so much. You know, if I wasn't doing this as as some type of work or as, as what the way that I'm doing it now, we wouldn't do it nearly as often. So that is absolutely one of the big positives is, is that right there. Um, the other thing is just like getting to have them along while I'm doing what it is that I'm doing for work. I, I, I really enjoy it. I mean, <laughs> we're not making crazy YouTube revenue and so that's not really the thing, but it is what I do for work, make these videos, and uh, and it's just a huge, a huge good thing. And, and just ha having them get to be part and take part in everything I'm doing while I'm working on this stuff, you know, getting getting them in there, get the Noah knows, the the Eli explains everything, living with Leia, life with Leia. It's it's a great thing. It's a big positive. That's that's a huge positive. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, it might be the only really good thing. Everything else from there might be bad stuff. Is that accurate? Maybe. I was going to write some stuff down and I decided I'll just go for it. And nobody wants to hear me read off a list. I'm just going to go for it. Um, in the true nature of a Cusco Uncut. Now, <laughs> there's got to be something else good from being a dad on YouTube. Oh! Well, you know, see, the, a lot of the good things from being a dad on YouTube actually tie in with what would be considered some of the, the bad things from being a dad on YouTube. So, actually, damn it, I don't like these pauses on Cusco and Cus because I'm not going to cut it out. Well, if I think of something else good, we'll, th we'll go back to it. But for now, let's go ahead and move on to the bad stuff, since apparently there's nothing else good in my brain. <laughs> bad stuff. Uh, well... One thing is uh, criticism, you know, getting criticism from other people about my parenting because I'm, I'm the type of person I won't tell somebody else how to raise their children. But just by the nature of putting this out here publicly, I, I get things coming in. Now, that is a bad side, you know, it's, it doesn't feel good to take criticism, especially when it comes to raising your children. However, the good side to that is that I do enjoy constructive criticism. I, I don't really care anymore if people say bad things about me on the internet. It's, it doesn't, I mean, I care, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother me like it did when I was in my earlier part of doing this. Um, I really, like, if, if somebody comes out and, and is like, I don't like you, I don't like you, like, fine. I mean, I probably don't like you either, especially if you come across like that. But, <laughs> but so it doesn't bother me that much. And I do take the, the criticism and, and apply it to myself and try to use it in the best way possible to make my own parenting better and do things better because oftentimes people will think of something that I didn't think of 
I, I'm just a person just like the rest of us. I don't think everything as much as I like to think I can. I can't. Uh, and so it really helps sometimes to have input from other people. And now most of our comments are, are pretty positive, which I'm, I'm very fortunate for. If it takes, takes some crazy downturn and we blow up to a crazy huge channel and the comment section turns into a dumpster fire, I'll probably abandon it. But for now, it's doing really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, another bad thing about being a dad on YouTube is... Well... See, I'm not just a dad on YouTube, right? That's the thing. I'm not just a dad on YouTube. I'm a dad that is openly a dad on YouTube. So open, sharing my kids, sharing my family, sharing how we live. That's, you know, it's, and there are lots of dads on YouTube, but not nearly as many, I think, that are as open about being a dad as I am on YouTube, necessarily. Pardon my notes. Uh, so, having the kids be recognized by people that don't necessarily know them, that's probably one of the biggest potential negatives is uh, is that is like people know who they are recognize their faces that's a valid concern for anybody and definitely something I've taken into account 100% we are very communicative with the kids and, and educate them about knowing that people know them out there and could potentially come and say oh hey Noah how you doing oh yeah I know your dad how's Halo doing how's how's your sister how's Leah how's Leah blah 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 oh yeah they said that you know and and try to try and do something uh, manipulative or uh, bad and try to you know do something like that and, and take our kids potentially obviously that's a big concern and we educate them a lot about that about what to do in inside a situation where somebody comes up they don't know claiming to know them and knowing lots of things about us like you don't trust anybody you don't know and and we do that and then, then there's the, the physical side of it where we, uh, I battle with my children daily physically and I don't take it easy on them we go hard in the paint because I want them to be ready for the real world out there sometimes you got to fight out there sometimes you got to be ready for that and so I, I take that very seriously and I and I enjoy having many battles with them and watching them slowly get stronger and stronger and able to able to battle out of situations with certain leg locks and holes that they couldn't get out of before. All of a sudden they're able to slip it a little bit and you know it's 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 really fun to watch. It's really fun to be part of. We're definitely not raising sissies over here. That's for sure. And if somebody did try to do that, it's a slim chance. It's not like we're a huge channel, but uh, but it's still possible. And I still definitely take that into account. And uh, some people say, should I even put my kids on the internet? Should you put your kids on the internet? Should you put your kids out there? Should I? Probably not. I probably shouldn't even be on the internet. I should, I should be off somewhere on a, on a mountainside in a small village, living with people, living off the land. That's what I should be doing. I really should be doing that. But I've chosen to move forward with the rest of, or not the rest of, but most of the rest of society in the 21st century and, and be on the internet and, and do these things that we do here. Putting videos up for potentially thousands, millions of people to see. That's what we've chosen to do. So, no. Should we do it? Maybe not. But are we doing it? Yes. One other thing, if, if <laughs> talking about defending my kids and making sure they're safe, if anybody ever did try to do anything malicious or, or any grown person, man, woman, tried to cause physical harm to my small children, I promise you that person will die. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no, it's, it's real. It's slowly, quietly, somewhere where nobody can hear you, very painfully, and I will enjoy it. Okay, that's very morbid, but it's very true. Any other good stuff out there? I feel like I really went to the bad, but it's all the, also all the good side, all the good stuff that comes from the bad side, which is learning to be a better parent for myself and taking, taking these opportunities to have other people's input. I really, I really do value it. I, I do value it because there's a lot of things I don't think of. I'm just, I'm just a guy going through the world. This is my first time. And a lot of people that watch the channel are, are older folks that, um, that have experience raising children, even grandchildren, and getting to see firsthand what kind of works and what doesn't. Now, granted, every case is different. You know, it's a case-by-case -case scenario very often when you're raising children, I think. But to have that insight from people who have been through it, who've been through what I've exactly what I've been through and have gone through and been able to put their input and, and let me know like what they've had in, in their experience, that's invaluable to me as well. So 
And that's something you could take as bad. Somebody criticizing your, your, your child raising. But I turn it around and I, I try to make, take all criticism as constructive and use it to better my own parenting and make better decisions as a father. So my point is the, the, the even with the bad stuff, the, that outweighs the good. It becomes good stuff for me. Um, and if going forward, if something seems really bad, I'll, I'll use my own best judgment and make the decisions from there to maybe, hey, stop being on the internet completely. Who knows? I don't know what the future is going to hold. But for now, I'm very, very happy to be a dad on YouTube. It's a wonderful thing. You guys have a great day.